Quick disclaimer, while editing this, I realized I cannot speak English properly. Now enjoy the video. Hello guys, if you don't already know who I am, I'm Funnuber, currently working on a fake multiplayer game called Single Server Warfare. I have worked on this game in two videos already. If you want more videos like this, then subscribe and smash that bell. In the previous video, I worked on the first map and redid the character movement. In this video, I completely delete the map I worked on and redo it because I found out about the box tool and Krita. I will also work on enemy AI because this game is AI based and we currently have no AI. Transition? Alright, I have already redrew the map. An image should be on the screen of the new layout. I drew. So I imported this into Unity and used the poly shape tool to draw the foundation of the map. The old map is set in a shipyard, but there was no big boat. There's still no big boat. This map will fix that. So the old map had also had one size of cargo container, which is not realistic. The new map will have different sizes, making the map less generic. I will also use the standard Pro Builder cube to get simple cover blocked out. Oh come on! Pro Builder has had some really stupid changes recently. Seriously though, why would the new shape button make you able to draw vertices? That is, that is the purpose of poly shape. Ranting aside, the creation of cargo containers is real simple because I can just drag the face out getting the shape I need. So my plan is to work on a map for two videos, then move on to the next map. Transition to the next section. I have done simple AI in the past, but I've never done anything advanced. I want to use a waypoint system like in CSGO, where the AI follows points on the map in a tree kind of fashion. So I could achieve this by creating a waypoint script that has a reference to all nearby waypoints, and whenever the AI agent enters the radius of the waypoint, it gets a random waypoint from the tree. So the system could also work for moving the AI agent around the map. So that should get the AI moving, but the AI can't attack, so the attack will just be spawning a rigid body and applying a large amount of force. Now the AI is done, but this type of AI is subject to change in the future. Transition to the outro. So I like developing this game and probably will for some time in the future until I get burnt out or I finish the game. If you want to help support this game then leave a like to feed this to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to help give me some extra motivation and so you get notified when more devlogs come out. I also have a discord server which you can check out and join. The link is in the description. But that is all from me from now. Fun Uber.